Hi there, South Africa. It's the daily news wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Thursday, the 18th of February, 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story today, the COVID-19 vaccines have touched down on South African soil and one of our own healthcare worker was given the first jab on Wednesday, 17th February at the Kailisha District Hospital in the Western Cape. President Cyril Ramaphosa, Health Minister Dr. Zuelim Kize and Deputy Minister Dr. Joe Fala also followed suit and received the jab on Wednesday. Meanwhile, cash-strapped South African consumers can expect the electricity price to rise by 15% from April 1st, ESCOM has announced following a court ruling earlier this week. ESCOM said that the Parastelton note and respects the order that was handed down in the North Gotten High Court on Tuesday. In other news, South African consumers are forking out more for household expenses as fuels and food prices soar according to statistics, SA's latest data, which showed inflation rose to 3.2% in January. This was despite the impact of lower household incomes caused by the sluggish economy on the back of the COVID-19 lockdown. Statistics SA's latest data released recorded annual consumer price inflation, CPI, which is a rate at which goods and services increase in price, rose to 3.2% in January, up from 3.1% in December in 2020. In your sports today, Kaiser Chiefs succumbed to a 2-1 loss to Amazulu in the league match that was played at FNB Stadium on Wednesday afternoon. The defeat left Amakosi in position 9 on the log, while Benny McCarthy's side moved up to 6th with 25 points from 17 matches. Meanwhile, the CAF Champion League match between Widad Casablanca and Kazi Chiefs is again in danger of either being cancelled or postponed. CAF confirmed on Wednesday that the Said encounter be played in Egypt on February 28. According to CAF, the Egyptian Football Association EFA was to confirm the stadium that will be hosting the match as well as the kick of time. In an update in your rugby news today, the Sharks have confirmed the signings of Rugby World Cup winning Springbok captain Sia Kolisi. Kolisi joined the Sharks on the multi-year deal, ending months of speculations about his future. In your weather today, Tropical Storm Gwambe follows hot on the heels of Eloise and is said to pass over Mozambique in the coming days. Eloise brought extreme weather conditions, heavy rains and widespread flooding. Many areas in southern Africa are still recovering. More on that, Bloemfontein is 32 degrees today, Cape Town is a mild 22 with a chance of rain, Pretoria comes at a sunny 30 degrees and Johannesburg stays at 28. And that's all the news you really need to know from the South African today. My name, Lisa Grayson. For more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.